Hello. <laughs> she fucking yapping at that yapper. Zaya, don't. Just don't try it. Gorgeous. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Aww. The sweetest. How are you guys doing? It is a wonderful, wonderful day. It is currently nine in the morning, which is a little early for me. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little early. I have a meeting today, so I'm like, you know what? Let's go ahead and try out this whole base, this collection of complexion. Zaya! We're gonna try this entire collection from Morphe. They just released an entire huge ass range of like concealers, foundations, powders, primers. Like, they like, literally went off. Woo! So insane, so crazy. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna try it out. I wanna test it, do a quick little first impressions and do a wear test throughout the day because I do have a full day ahead of me just because I'm really, really, really intrigued to see how it lasts on the skin. You guys, with foundations and powders and concealers and things like that, everyone's really different when it comes to their preference on things like that. You know, I might like it, I might not like it, but you guys might love it or not love it. So it's just kind of like one of those things. I feel like it's not like a eyeshadow palette where it's like, bitch, you know, like it's sickening. You know that the pigmentation is real. It's like, if this works for your complexion, type amazing if it doesn't then it doesn't I really want to test it out and see if it works for my type of skin I have oily combo skin so I have oily skin in the t-zone but I have like kind of dry areas around my face and like dry patches and things like that so I really want to see if this foundation picks up on my dry patches like what does it do it's supposed to be a demi matte finish so I'm really intrigued that's what today's video is going to be as always if you guys don't like this video if you guys don't like me please don't fucking watch it you know the drill with that but if you guys do like this video please want to give it a thumbs up comment down below what was your favorite part of the video other than my beauty and subscribe because like why wouldn't you <laughs> Guys, I got the entire PR package from the Morphe team, but just because I get the PR, just because I'm an affiliate does not mean I'm not gonna be complete honest and 100% about what I think about this foundation and these complexion products for my skin type. I mean, girl, come on. Complexion is very, it's it's like one of those things where it's like you kind of have to like, it's personal. So if it works for me, great. If it doesn't, then it just doesn't, but it could work for you. So we have fluidity. Oh my God, fluidity. I, like, I really think that their branding for this was really beautiful. I really truly do. Ooh, bitch, we got an array. Oh my God, y'all could just get lit on this branding. So we have all the products right here. Let's just go ahead and go in order. So we have fluidity. This is gonna be the first thing I'm gonna be talking about. Fluidity foundation, 60 shades. So we have a fluidity right here. This is a full coverage matte foundation with 60 shades, $18 each, 24 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of oils, fragrance, and parabens, great for all skin types. Huh, and it has 60 shades, all right. And we also have a primer. Let's go ahead and just talk about the primer too, just cause I'm about to use that shit right now. But we have two types of primers, we have equalizer and revitalizer. Honestly, it doesn't make any sense to me when they like title it equalizer and revitalizer. I was like, okay, what does that mean? That it's like smoothing and moisturizing? Like I didn't understand the names of them. But then once you read it, it says equalizer instantly makes skin feel smooth and balanced. Revitalizer makes skin feel moisturizer. So, Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and just go in with the primer first. This is what it looks like. This is the foundation primer. This retails for $12. You guys, Morphe price points, it's, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Morphe price points, it's not drugstore. It's not like $8. For the foundation, it's $18, but it's not like MAC where it would be like, you know, $30, $35, like that price point. It's just kind of right in between. So this is going to be a silky silicone based primer. I can already tell as I'm putting it on. It's extremely, extremely silky. Oh my gosh, it feels really, really, really pretty. It reminds me a lot of like, the Smashbox HD primer, like that kind of primer where it's very, very, very silky, benefit professional, that kind of vibe. So we're gonna just fill in the pores. A little goes a long way with this one. Hmm, I like it. But this one would probably be best for people that are more oily combo, not for dry necessarily. If you're dry, I would use the other primer because it's more moisturizing. So now we're going with the foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade F120. Okay, you guys, tell me this does not look exactly like the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible packaging. It's just like that classic two packaging. It's not the most expensive, it's not cheap. I mean, just basic, like it's not like revolutionary, but it's not like bad either. L'Oreal, Morphe. It has like that window, window, black, black. Morphe's like, hey, can I copy your homework? Yeah, but don't make it like too similar. Morphe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but honestly, it's kind of funny. This is the comedy police. The joke's too funny. I'm not going back to jail. Um, so we have one fluid ounce in here. We're gonna go ahead and choose that. The scent is 
Oh my gosh, it smells like Estee Lauder double wear. Do you guys know what that smells like? It smells like almost painty. I know it sounds like intense, but usually like those matte, like full coverage kind of foundations have a very industrial strong scent. This is not different in any way, shape or form. Like it's strong. And I'm also using their little sponge that they came with. Just so I wanna try the sponge out. Okay, first impressions, the coverage is fucking real, honey. The coverage is real. Oh my God. We're just packing this on right here. Oh my Jesus. Actually, I'm gonna use the sponge on my right side of my face. I'm gonna use the brush on the other side of my face just so I can see the difference. But honestly, like because this sponge is flat, it's stippling really nicely and I soaked it, of course. It's like kind of a weird sponge to me. It's definitely not my favorite Morphe sponge that they've ever come out with, but it is really great at stippling on the foundation very nicely. So first impressions, the foundation is actually much more thick in consistency than I thought it was gonna be. The coverage is a lot more intense than I thought it was gonna be. It's definitely full coverage. Okay. Okay, sweetheart. The proof is right here in the fucking pudding, mama. I'm also noticing that it sets really, really fast. You kind of have to work with it pretty quickly because it dries way faster than I assumed it was going to. And now I'm taking this on a M439 brush to stipple and see if there's a difference in application. Because it also came with one of these brushes too. So I just want to see, I'm very intrigued. Cabron. Okay, but honestly, I didn't use that much product and it covered my entire face which is great. I always have to go in with more product than what I usually went in with. So this size is completely set already. Like she set in stone. So finish you guys, I would say is a matte finish for sure, but it's not so, so matte where you're like, holy shit, what's moisturizer? I don't I've never heard of her. Like it's not like that, but if you are dry, I would highly recommend using a moisturizer before this and putting on a hydrating primer because it is a matte foundation and I can tell because it dries so quickly that my skin's like, oh, it's gonna be dry, sweetie. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna go and just apply a little bit more on the T-zone, like a second layer. Just gonna see how it builds up and see how it builds nicely or not. And so far it does build pretty, pretty well because it does layer nice because it dries so quick. <laughs> I wish it didn't dry as fast as it did, to be honest. Like, I just think it's kind of fast. But the coverage is beautiful. The consistency is really, really nice. Another thing, you guys, that I wanted to point out is that this foundation will pick up on your dry patches because it is more matte. And I can already tell, like, anywhere that's a little bit more dry, it is picking up and it makes your skin look a little bit more dry. But that's kind of the nature of matte foundation, so it is what it is. But I'm just wanting to, you know, give you guys all the tea. If you guys have dry patches on your skin, this foundation will probably pick up on it because it dries so intensely. Like, I almost feel like I don't even need to set it with translucent powder. It's very, very quick. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with Fluidity Concealer. They can't concealer, do you want the bag? You fucking whores? Okay, so it says Fluidity Concealer, your new hide or die. That's cute, ride or die, hide. Okay, I love it. So it's $9, full coverage, soft matte concealer, long wearing, 31 shades available, can conceal, brighten, and contour, 16 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of fragrance and parabens, ophthalmologist tested. Oh, and it has a flat paddle applicator, which is cool. So we're gonna go in with the shade C155. I'm just gonna try this out. Okay, so putting it on, it's extremely, extremely creamy and thick. Wow, okay, cool. So it's definitely gonna, I'm assuming this is gonna be a very full coverage concealer because it's so dense, but it is creamy and it glides very nicely. It's not like dense where it's like not moving at all. It's definitely gliding, but let me try it out when I actually try to blend it, we'll see. Let me not talk too quick, mama. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and highlight with it as well. Honestly, you other than the fact that it's picking up on my dry patches, like areas that are drier on my skin, which I don't love, I'm not gonna lie, I don't like that. It's going on pretty, pretty nicely. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer with the same little sponge. Holy shit, that is full coverage, mama. Also you guys, because this is a soft matte finish as well, I would suggest going in and blending this quicker with the sponge or whatever you're using it to blend it out with because it sets pretty quick. It is soft matte. So usually when that is happening, you need to set it a little, you need to go quick. But the coverage is, dude. Oh. And it's not falling into my fine lines like crazy or anything like that. Let me just set it with some translucent powder, just this area, and then I'll go ahead and set the rest of my face with the Morphe powder because they came out with powder too. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> okay, so concealer first impression, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm actually really, really, really impressed. Like, dead ass impressed. I'm giggling because it's like, Holy shit, like I just didn't expect to really like love it. But the foundation, if you are drier underneath the eyes, I don't know if you're gonna fucking live the fantasy with this because it is definitely a matte consistency when it comes to the concealer as well. It's really full coverage and really matte. So it definitely will be a little more drying. It's going dry. 
It's definitely not the most dry concealer I've ever used though, that's for sure. I've used more drying ones because matte concealers on me, I'm okay with them, like I like them. So now I'm gonna go in with the Polvo, which is powder. So we have your finishing powder, $12 for the finishing powder. Filter effect finish powder, complete refreshing up any look with these silky soft finish powders that can lay well on their own or with others, including puff for on the go application, available in 15 matte shades. Okay. So this is the powder right here. This is one I just grabbed. This is in the shade hashtag filter three. So I'm assuming it's like the third lightest powder. So I'm gonna feel it. Oh my gosh, wow. It does feel extremely, extremely soft and lightweight. It's extremely smooth, extremely creamy. Wow. My face, like as if I'm, I'm like so shocked, what the fuck? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with just a loose, big brush. I'm gonna put this all over the skin to set the face. I'm just honestly so, so gagged that the foundation set itself so intensely. Like, what the fuck? I'm just extra setting for like the day. Okay, this is like not a lot's happening here. With this setting, it's not a lot is happening. It's definitely more of like a touch up powder, I would say, and like a lightweight setting powder. This isn't like a Mac Studio Fix situation. It's definitely not that. It has a little bit of coverage, but not a lot. It's definitely just a setting powder. Unless you go into a brush like this, it gives you more coverage. But girl, you don't need more coverage. You're fine. <laughs> You're good. Okay, so we have the base completely finished. So with everything combined, put on the skin, I have literally everything on now, including with the powder. Of course, the skin looks extremely dry. Let me do a little bit of setting spray to knock it off. You know what, let me use the Morphe one, hello. Okay, so we're gonna use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I really, 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 really like this. Just to kind of take away the dry, powdery appearance. I just drenched my shirt, <laughs> fucking idiot. So this is the skin, you guys. I like it a lot more now when you set it with some setting spray. It takes away that powdery look. The coverage is really, really real. I'm really inspecting here, you guys. So I haven't really gone in with a full ass matte foundation in a long time, just because I feel like with matte foundations, they just like fall into my pores really easily. And I'm noticing with this foundation, it's doing that right here. Like I can see my pores quite largely, like they're big right here. I feel like with like mixed foundations, it doesn't give you that effect. But this one, I definitely, definitely notice it does. Also my smile lines, the foundation's starting to settle in the smile lines a little bit. Don't love that either. But you guys, so far, really happy with the product so far. Honestly, I think that they did a great job. I'm also gonna just see how everything applies on top of on top of it. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. And it's applying nicely over top of the foundation. It's not like getting bunchy or patchy in any way, shape, or form. Like it's just applying very nicely. And I'm taking Marc Jacobs Tantastic, my go-to. I go to bitch. So as you guys can see, like it's going on really nicely. It's not going on like patchy. Usually when you set your face like with powder, it should go on pretty darn good with everything. <laughs> I'm also not gonna touch up throughout the day because I really wanna see how oily or not oily my skin gets. Okay, blush now. Taking my little Tarte blush book. Oh shit. Okay, so I didn't set my face like I normally set my face, like with translucent powder all over it. I just set it with that little powder. So I think honestly, like everything's sticking to my skin a lot more intensely because I didn't like bake it. You know what I mean? Like there's a little bit more room for grabbing. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's why everything's sticking a little bit more intensely, which is um, <laughs> fine with me. Hello. But you guys, honestly, it does go over nicely. Everything is going over nicely on top of this. Like it's not being patchy or weird in any way, shape or form. It's going on really nicely. It's layering nicely. The product's not acting up underneath it. So. Thank God. <laughs> Let's go in with some highlighter. Lunar Beauty. Excuse my beauty. <laughs> ah, stunning. Gorga. Okay, cool. So we are highlighted. We are blushed. We are bronzed. We are complexioned the fuck out. Okay? And I'm not gonna do anything more. I'm literally just gonna go to like my meetings like this. <sighs> Looking like a hot ass mess, but at least I'm hot. At least I'm hot. Right? Okay guys, so for my first impressions portion of this video, I will definitely say that so far, let's just go down in the fucking line. Let's just go in the fucking line so far. And this is like in the beginning, right? This is the beginning. This is my first impressions portion. Hit or miss, would I say that the foundation primer is a hit or miss? I would say it's a hit for the price point too. It's definitely a good smoothing base, like pore filling base. I mean, I still have, you know, my pores are still very much showing. So I'm not sure if that was like the primer's doing, the foundation's doing, but I think for the price point, it's pretty darn good. So I would say it's a hit. Um, if you guys want to try a nice like, silky primer pretty good the foundation so far as a hit i love the coverage i love the consistency i love the way it feels on the skin it doesn't feel like it's too heavy like i'm wearing too much makeup and the coverage is really 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 nice um i don't like about it that it's falling into my pores and i feel like my smile lines are gonna start getting to crack very 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 soon and also if you are 
dry, I do not think that you would like it. Or you could, if you're just like really heavily moisturized or using really, really hydrating primers, then I think it could work for you for sure, of course. I think you can make anything work for you as long as you, you know, do the things that you need to do with your skin. But if you're just classically like dry without doing anything to your skin, I'm not sure if you would really like this. But for me, because I am more oily combo, I do like it for sure. I have to wear it throughout the day to see how it sits in and settles into the skin, but first impression so far, I do like it. Concealer, I do like it a lot. It's a little bit drying, but I do really, really like it. The coverage is beautiful. It's brightening, it's stunning. Powder, also have to try this one more, but first impressions, I do like it as well. So I kinda have to see what I think, but it feels very nice. It's very, very silky, it's very lightweight. It's just a nice setting, little like airy powder because it's definitely not heavy, but it looks really pretty. So that's the skin, y'all. That's the skin so far. We shall see by the end of the video what do I think if they're sickening diva of the world. Like, is it sickening the house? Let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see exactly what my skin looks like. So that's what I mean with the pores. Like, you can see how it's like kind of falling into my pores a little bit. Right there. My under eye looks a little bit drier. Of course, I set it but it still looks a little dry. The skin does look really nice though. The nose looks really good. Other than like the pore falling. So that's that. And we'll be doing some check-ins. Hey guys, so it is currently our number two and a half checkup point. So this is what the skin looks like right now. I'm definitely cracking. Release the cracking. Release the cracking. On the sides of the face. It's definitely falling into my fine lines and wrinkles in that area. Other than that though, not oily. Looking pretty good so far still. If you guys can see a little bit closer. Right there, as you guys can see. Not too oily, a little bit oily on the nose, for sure. Nothing bad, but so far, pretty good, other than the fact that it is creasing on my smile lines. Pretty bad. So far, so good. <sighs> Okay, you guys, what is up? I am checking in at the eight hour mark, honey. I'm <laughs> winded, I walked up the stairs and I'm winded. Woo! Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at the skin, what we think. This is after eight hours of wear. As we can see, there's areas on my forehead that are missing foundation, like where I touched my face. This is with no touch up, I'm definitely oily. As we can see, we are oily. The highlighter stayed beautifully. <laughs> but the foundation did stay on for sure. My smile lines, there's definitely separation in this area right here, right here, right here on my nose. Smile lines are creased the freak up. But honestly, I would say that it still looks really pretty, even though it's oily on my skin, it still looks really, really pretty to me. Very dewy. Like if you're going for a dewy look, wear this for eight hours. Do, let's see how this, this touch up powder, how it goes on. Oh, it really does mattify quite a lot. So my forehead looks so fresh all over again, wow. Look at that. Oil? I've never heard of her. So with using the Morphe Touch Up Powder, I just touched up my whole skin and it definitely looks refreshed all over again. Still, you can see the little spots missing here from foundation, but once you pat on some of that powder, it kind of goes away. So that is that with one touch up, it still looks really fresh and really pretty. I wanted to touch up on camera so you guys can see exactly what it looked like before a touch up and after. Looks pretty good. Oh, also I wanted to talk about this too. So the concealer and the foundation is actually made in the US. It says made in USA on here. And the primer and powder are made in China. Just wanna let you guys know that. I don't know, I feel like people always wanna kind of shit on Morphe and be like, oh my God, that's made in China. That's gonna be shit, that shit fucking sucks but the foundation and the concealer were both made in the US and they're still really great priced items, so. You can't say shit on that one, honey. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, what do I think all in all of the entire collection? Okay, let me just go down the row. Primer, I liked it. It's definitely, it was definitely a cute primer, you know, a cute drugstore equivalent primer. I would definitely suggest this if you guys have bigger pores and you try using this. I think that it did work really, really nicely. It felt very, very nice on the skin, very silky, very smooth. Felt like my Smashbox one, it could be a great dupe for that Smashbox one. So that was really, really cool. The foundation, I really liked it for $18. I think that's a really fair price point. It's not quite drugstore price. It's not like $7, but it's not like high end price point either where it's 40. That's definitely right in between that. And I would definitely say this is definitely, definitely worth it. Um, I would also suggest saying that the L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible is honestly like kind of a dupe for this as well. This has a demi matte formula. This has a more of a matte matte formula, but it's a pretty similar dupe. It's a little bit cheaper. Also with this, I would highly suggest if you're going to use this and you are dry, <laughs> you need to definitely finesse the product and definitely use hydrating things on your face before 
or during, like use Fix Plus on your skin, use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, use the Mega Forever Primers, the blue one, that hydrating primer. Definitely use things that are gonna hydrate your skin because this is extremely, extremely drying, extremely matte, and it is extremely full coverage. So yeah, if you're looking for a matte, full coverage foundation that's not gonna break the bank, I would highly suggest this. And it would honestly probably have your color because they have 60 shades. It's amazing. The concealer, I am still blown away by it because honestly, I wasn't oily underneath my eyes really. And I wasn't caked and creasy. And it's been eight hours. Like my under eyes still look like this. Like girl, like they look sickening. Again, I would suggest using something hydrating. But honestly, I loved the coverage of this. I love the way it applied. I love the applicator of this. All in all, this was a fantastic, fantastic product. And it's only nine bucks. If it was like either like this or the foundation, like if I was to pick one of them, I would pick the concealer over the foundation because I truly think this is amazing. Shocked. And the powder. The powder is actually really, really pretty. It comes with a little thing. Like, girl, that's cute. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to use this. But if you like this kind of thing, cool. And it's, you know, practical. And it's 12 bucks, bitches, 12 bucks. That's so good. So for the powder, I would say that's another hit for me. I thought it was a really, really, really pretty powder. It was a great touch-up powder because it's really, really, really finely milled and it's very, very thin. It's not a really heavy, crazy, intense powder where you're like, oh my God, it's Studio Fix powder by MAC. It's not like that, but it's not super, super thin where it's only translucent powder. It definitely gives you a little bit of coverage. It's like a sheer to medium coverage, I would say, on the powder. And it definitely really applies quite nicely and it touches up very, very well. Like I feel like my skin looks brand new all over again just from using this as touch up. So all in all, I would say that this collection was a hit for me. I think that was really, really, really good. If you are more on the oily side or combo or normal, I think you guys will really, really like these products. If you're dry, I would suggest using things that were really hydrating underneath it. But I still think that you can definitely work with them for sure. So congratulations to Morphe. You guys did an amazing, amazing job. The drop was amazing. It's crazy to think back because I've been a Morphe affiliate for I think four years now. I was their third ever affiliate. Like I grew with that company and I've been with them for so, so long and to see like where they started out and to see where they are now where they have freestanding stores and like they're coming out with these drops which is 60 foundations like Holy shit, dude. How many brands can do that right away? You know, not many. So I just want to say congratulations to Morphe on your guys' amazing launch. The product itself is beautiful. I'm really, really, really proud of you guys. Like I'm really, honestly, pleasantly surprised. The spots I had on my forehead where the foundation was gone, I had touched my face and it was gone. So before you get to that point where you're so oily, definitely touch up before because that was at like, what, eight hour mark? And I had like spots missing from my face. So it's definitely not like that type of foundation that's gonna stick to your skin like glue. It's not, you know, my skin still ate through the foundation and it's still, the oil still came through. If you guys wanna try it out, I would definitely suggest trying it out. If anything, if anything in the whole video, if you guys wanna try anything, 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 try the concealer because I thought they did a great job. And they came out with a white concealer, a full white concealer, so. Yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys had fun watching. Have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you so much. Mwah. Very interested. Very interested up in this fucking piece, bitch. <clears throat> my camera died. <laughs> please don't settle, please. Uh, have high standards. Oh, my God. Oh, this PR package, it's not even possible for me to take a photo of my life. Are you joking? I can't carry this. <laughs> I can't even carry it because it's too fucking heavy, mommy. Oh my gosh. Whole... Ah! Ah! Don't rip. Don't. Don't you rip on me, you fucking fucker. Don't you dare. Don't. Bitch. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Get out of your chair. No, I need you, actually. Help me. Ah, ah. Okay. My thighs are burning. I'm shaking, I'm not kidding. Help me. <laughs> Show more of it. Muscles aren't working. Okay, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> physically can't. She's done. She's good. She's Gucci.